Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see what your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, rare hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, if it resonates. Green hearts, if you're working on the yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, meaning I have my back because I have yours. I have a new schedule. I will do three videos a day, 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time and 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So look out for the reads. For the first couple of weeks, I will um, schedule them as premieres. So I'll be right there in the back waiting for you to respond to me and talk to me. I talk back. Yeah, you're having some type of patience when it comes to a situation, a sad situation when it comes to a twin flame. Now, this is tragedy. I'm watching, uh, um, sorry, I'm watching a uh, court hearing. But yeah, when it comes to this twin flame, you've been patient, a child, so probably because, um, and this is just me, some type of uh, energy as a child, maybe somebody went through a harsh childhood, but there was tragedy. So it says, tragedy helps you find your purpose, deep lessons concealed in tragedies, helping others cope during tragedies. Childhood trauma is the biggest thing, and this causes a lot of narcissistic type energy. I'm not a therapist. I just play one on TV, but I'm just saying when it comes to things that need to be healed from the past, this could be child soul, but it could be the past energy of what causes you to be patient with a person, seeing potential in them, seeing what they can bring, what they have the potential to bring to the table, but at the same time, being patient and waiting years down the line for this person to get it together until you really realize that this person isn't going to get it together. It's you that have to get it together and know that you cannot save everyone. And so with, um, you know, I say pain causes lessons. It's not, um, you know, that, you know, it's your fault or anything like that. It just shows you a different side of people and how they operate. So it says patience, master the ability to wait, prepare and take care of the details. Don't act if the timing isn't right. And so you're being patient. You know, you you might have tried to act or try to make things uh, more than what uh, not make them more than what they were. I'm sorry about that to to um, explain or try to show a person that you you know, your worth and, you know, that they have the potential to be great, but they have to realize that. So again, I read tragedy when it comes to twin flame, it says you will meet them in this life, divine mission together, a gift, uh, a gift presented by the divine. So if you feel like you've met your twin flame already, you know, the universe might be saying, this is not your twin flame. This is a karmic partnership that is teaching you a lesson. So when that twin flame back and forth, back and forth comes into your life, you'll understand what the adversity is and that there is something in regards to the past life that you were very patient for and maybe last lifetime, but, uh, or, or this lifetime, it's not meant for you guys to get together, if that makes sense, but only you know that. So the people that you've been dealing with, I'm going to pull from the archetype deck and traits by Maruk X. This is Maruk X's evolution of the soul, but I'm going to go ahead. Okay, first of all, if all those cards just fell down, I'm just telling you they did. Hold on one second. Let me pick them up. Okay, here we go. They all fell down. Yes. Yes, 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 and yes. Those two are in reverse. Bottom of the deck. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Old lover. So this is somebody who you might have dealt with in the past. Again, twin flame energy. Or somebody that walked you walked away from or they walked away from you. And it says they're emotional mature. They're they're emotionally mature and stable now, right? Um, could find love later in life. Age difference in relationships. So this could be somebody who you meet who is your twin flame, but their older lover uh, who is going to show you something different. This card is in the reverse, a stalker. So you're not looking for this person. This person isn't looking for you. So this is something that sweetheart is here. This is in reverse, the, um, the thief of hearts. This person isn't here to steal your heart. This is somebody that's here to love you. They're extrovert. So they go out a lot. They're very romantic. They're going to win you over. <laughs> the in, uh, in, oh wait. Intellectual. The intellectual. This person may not be that smart, but they might be just a little bit mature. But the fling, 
it could have started off as a fling and they became your rival down in the past, but now they've matured to realize that they are not here to steal your heart. They're not here to be overprotective and stalkerish over you. And, you know, they realize that they're, you know, that smart wits that they felt like they were outwitting you. They realized that they lost something in you, you, you know, and so that's just kind of how I see that energy. I can read these cards for you. Uh, the only, the on, only interest, sorry, the fling, only interested in having sex, no interest in having anything long-term has short and spontaneous experiences. So that could have been who that person was as a, um, as a, uh, I want to say, I was going to say teenager, but um, as a youngster, I'm going to say that. And then the rival, they became your rival because it says competes for someone's love, third party relationships, doesn't care if you're with someone else. So this fling thing would have been like, oh, OK, this is that they weren't smart about it. But now they, um, you know, they 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 weren't smart about it. But uh, and that's why it came into the reverse. But it says has a hard time keeping an open mind. They apply logic before making a move. This is how they were often overthinking and analyzing love. So now they're not doing that. They're not, uh, you know, putting logic when it comes to love, because at some point they realize who you are. And it says the romantic. It says old fashioned views toward love, love to court or be courted, does romantic things to show their love. So this is what this person is doing now when it comes to before they had issues in the past. Um, or you dealt with somebody, or this could be a new person that's not going to give you all the bull that you went through before. And this is a tragedy that had to happen in order to find this person. That kind of makes sense to me. And the extrovert, it says, has a lot of friends and interests. It's easy to get to know them, enjoys being the center of attention. So when they were younger, they probably enjoyed being the center of attention, but they learned their lesson. And it says, sweetheart, a very generous and kind-hearted person, loving and forgiving towards their partner, can be hard for them to uh, can be hard for them to set boundaries. That sounds like your energy, but at some point, this could have been their energy when they were younger. But they learned their lesson about the thief of hearts. They're the ultimate heartbreaker. Plays on their uh, partner's emotions can steal your heart with a little effort, and that's what they did in the past. And now. They're learning the stalker energy is in the reverse, invades partner's privacy, has a hard time letting go of their exes, sneaky behavior, looks for hidden info, and that's not what they're doing anymore. So they've matured in this process. So this could be a twin flame that somebody that went through something with another person, a previous person, or you could have went through this with this person, and therefore you were patient, and now they are coming back around, or you're meeting this person, and they're highly reformed when it comes to what they did in the past. And same with you. You learned from the past of the energy that you were dealing with. Um, and now you're willing to um, accept an older person, somebody who's been through a lot, but it's not going to put you through a lot, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and pull from the situations because we have a lot of stuff on the table because all of these cards fell down. But this is the situation deck by... Um, intuitive envisions 11 11 um yeah so the yeah, unconditional love so you're going to meet somebody um uh or you this is a person that has unconditional love that's genuine that's very certain yeah there's going to be a meeting two or more people discussing and planning and there was retaliation in the past and there's also happy happiness so punishment payback and revenge so maybe at some point Somebody is trying to seek revenge on you, this stalker and thief of hearts, because you're happy now. And the happiness comes with you being wholeness, overjoyed and smiling. And this is the love that you needed in life. So, again, we have the old lover here, divine masculine. We have the old lover here. And now we have love, adore, admire and enchant. But the child soul says adapting to the rules of life. Lessons, social structure, rules and roles, traits, discipline, dutiful and traditional. So this is the type of energy that this person had to go and be a part of because of the fact that they went through something in the past. But the past causes lessons. And it, if you let it cause fear, it will. So for the first part of dealing with the past, it causes fear because you're afraid to move forward. So you play these games, these emotional manipulative games. And then once you get older, then you realize that that person that was in the past taught you a lesson and you start to um, appreciate the lessons that you learned. Because now when you get older, you want 
stability. You want to be able to have unconditional love. You want to be able to have, um, you know, a genuine love and to meet, discuss, and plan. So speak your mind, say what you want, uh, have understanding when it comes to what you feel about love, and most most importantly, be patient when it comes to this and not just accept anything or any anybody. And so if that makes sense, so that's kind of how I see that. I'm going to go ahead and pull, I don't know this tarot deck. Um, I don't know what it's called, but I'm going to pull it. It's kind of, um, it's a, it's a, I don't know. It's a tarot deck. That's what I'm trying to say, but there you have it. Yeah, there was burdens in the past and oh boy. So I've used this deck several times and this is you setting boundaries and this is the burdens and for them, the nine and 10, 10 of wands, nine of wands, nine of wands, 10 of wands to be and to come out like this as if I did not king of swords energy. As if I did not, so you could have been dealing with the King of Swords in the past, Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but the Ten of Wands is here. The Wands energy is Aries, Leo, Sag, so the new old lover could be an Aries, Leo, Sag that now knows uh, the, the meaning of boundaries and also understands the burdens of the past and why they want something different. Or this could be you dealing with an Air Energy that you had to set boundaries and understand because there were burdens uh, that they caused in the past and they were all of this. And now this air energy wants to have something else with you. And they have looked at things and now they're admiring you and want more with you. So again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I'm going to pull from the sacred signs and symbols by serendipity tarot to see what comes out. But, you know, people have to learn from the past. You know, people have to learn from the past, the past issues. People call them mistakes. I call them lessons. Remember, no man is your enemy. No man is your friend. Every man is your teacher. Yeah. At one point, this person has to butter up and smooth you over, and they understand, again, burdens on burdens, the burdens and uh, how they were able to, again, escape and uh, carry their baggage of the past. And, yeah, they were narrow-minded uh, narrow or narrow vision and limited vision. They had tunnel vision. They only did the things that they want to do, but now they realize that that's not going to work and that it won't win you over anymore, um, being that, that, that energy or having that energy of the past and so that's kind of how I see that now this person is ready to um, have unconditional love with you but you have to ask yourself is that if that's what you want all the cards keep falling on the ground you have to ask yourself if that's what you want from this situation yeah the four of swords yeah um, why aren't you resting so this is rest and relaxation four of swords energy but uh, the four of swords also is you actually um, you know, trying to contemplate certain things or understand that uh, you need to recuperate from this past energy. So it could have been time that has passed in regards to dealing with this person, place, thing, or situation that you had to recuperate from because it caused so much pain for you. Ace of Wands energy and Page of Wands. Wow. So we have a lot of Wands energy out here, which is fire energy, you know, Aries, Leo, Sag um, energy. But it says don't, uh, Ace of Wands energy says don't you see how your passion makes you glow. So when you start going after the things that you're passionate about, having confidence and going and, um, uh, you know, creating the things that you want and also understanding where you are and going after your desires, you have to understand that your willpower power is stronger than anybody else's. And so, Cancer, when it comes to the Page of Wands being here, it says just because you're passionate about it doesn't mean it'll be effortless. So it's going to take you some time. So that's where you have to set boundaries and also understand the burdens of the past and learn from the lessons. But thank the people because no man is your enemy, no man is your friend, every man is your teacher. This person, place, thing, or situation has taught you a lesson and that is how I see that you you learned the lesson and now it's time to move on. Let's see what your emotions are or um, this is the what card deck is this? The Panther Oracle. Hold on. Let's see the Panther Oracle. It gives you three representations uh, of in regards to what this card is about. But it's basically if you ask me about kind of emotion, the emotions that you go through when it comes to dealing with certain situations. Um, that's just kind of how I see that. Uh, yeah, family. That's what you want is a family and a bond and also home and uh, background or stability. But luck is on your side. You hit the, you're going to hit the jackpot. You're going to be rewarded. And there's going to be some type of fortune when it comes to people 
coming back into your life or you allowing people and working on yourself because again you have to be effortless in regards to going after the things that you're passionate about you can be passionate about one thing but when it comes to not having boundaries or understanding the burdens then you won't you won't be able to go after the things you want so what causes you happiness is family and that's one you wanted to build a foundation so you have to meditate relax and understand and thank the people for cause causing you to put fire under the what flame or whatever fire under your butt in order to be able to get to this so i believe that this is a really good energy um i'm pulling from the four agreements i will click the links above put the links above so you can click them i mean okay all of these cards Falling. Don't make assumptions. All right, hold on. All right, so don't make assumptions comes out. Be yourself around others. This is your part of you. This is your lesson of learning to say exactly what you want and also saying what you mean and understanding that you cannot be quiet. You have to say exactly everything that you want, moving into a new or a person coming back into your life. You're going to set boundaries and you're going to realize. You're going to set them because of the burdens that you went through. It says the biggest assumption that humans make is that everyone sees life the way we do. We assume that others think the way we think, feel the way we feel, judge the way we judge, and abuse the way we abuse. We are afraid to, uh, we are afraid to be ourselves around others because we think others will judge us, victimize us, abuse us, and blame us as we do ourselves. So we uh, criticize ourselves a lot, and that is, because we want to be good to everybody else and we don't want to disappoint people. But now is the time to understand that the boundaries and the burdens of the past is causing you to speak your mind and to say what it is you really want and what you feel. And so if that makes sense. So again, if you want to know my perspective in regards to the four agreements and also the chakras, click the link above. Um, yeah, the black onyx turned over. The black onyx is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, uh, root chakra. Yep. That's you grounding yourself. It, encouragement, protection, and strength. You're recognizing your strength. You're encouraging yourself and you're protecting yourself and your energy around others. And that's the reason why you're saying exactly what they want. If you say something and they don't like it, then they have the option to move forward. And you're going to say this from the beginning, if that makes sense. And so it says, I draw my strength from my past experiences. Again, learning the lessons of the past. The lessons cause you to understand your burdens and understand why you need boundaries in your life again i draw my strength from my past experiences again so now i want you to go ahead and let this old energy go i now let go of worn out conditions of lack doubt hate negativity procrastination stagnation sadness generational curses debt bad energies heartbreak bad health and addictions remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys and i miss you